Another important detail that we can measure in the case of an inverter unit is the UVW output with an oscilloscope. In this case, we see that we have the measurement tip in 10x, as we had explained. I am using one of the test cables that I have connected to this board to be able to make these measurements. Perhaps if you don't have those small cables, it will be a bit complicated. But they will help you to diagnose a faulty compressor that has not affected the board. Well, here we have 10x 10x, 100 volts. Let's do a little zoom to see a little more of the wave. Let's do each time more one. And there we are seeing better how the speed wave is moving. That is the pulsing voltage that is simulating a sinusoidal, and that is how the compressor motor works. I can change points. Instead of testing UV, I can test U, W. With great care. We don't want to burn anything or damage myself. It's a bit difficult with the camera and the unit energized. Now yes. Let's test the one we are missing, which is V and W. Now everything is working perfectly. We will do tests to be able to know what measurement we have to get in case the compressor is not there, and to be able to know that the IPM is working well. Please leave a comment if you have any questions.